Hello friends, why are my plant leaves turning yellow? I am sure every gardener has faced this problem of yellowing of leaves on their plants and in today's episode we will look at the top 10 reasons and tips to diagnose and treat this problem of leaf yellowing. Stay tuned. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything. One of the most frustrating things in life is when you work so hard to maintain and care for something and it doesn't end up perfect. So when you see leaves of your plant turning yellow, it's time to investigate and find out the possible cause and solution to it. Never lose heart and do not worry, it's not that difficult. This is a very common problem even with an expert gardener. And the first line you deduce if there is yellowing of leaves is your plant is in stress. And then you start investigating for the reason. You can follow these 10 tips and reasons and keep your plants happy and healthy for a long time. Reason number 1. The watering or the moisture stress. The most common reason that plants leaves turn yellow is because of moisture stress which can be from either over watering or under watering. If you have a plant that has yellow leaves check the soil in the pot to see if the soil is too dry or too soggy. If you believe that the problem is due to under watering then water the plant more often and vice versa. One hint here is the indoor plants are more prone to overwatering and outdoor plants to underwatering. Then the reason number two is sunlight, which is another common reason that the plants turn yellow because not enough light is reaching the plant for photosynthesis. This can be corrected easily by knowing your plant's light requirements and also by providing the optimum exposure to the sunlight for that particular plant. Then the reason number three is temperature. Leaves start turning yellow when it is either too hot or too cold. In terms of the cold temperatures like for example adenium plants the leaves start yellowing in winter and eventually fall off and the plant goes into the dormant state in winter. This is called winter dormancy. Then the reason number four is fertilizers whether it is over or under use of fertilizers. If you observe a strange pattern to yellowing of leaves like if the veins on the leaves are green and the tissue is getting yellow or the edges or tips are yellow then it's almost always a fertilizer misuse. Commonly overuse of fertilizers is the problem so it is important to use the fertilizer as at the recommended dosage. And frequently people tend to use too much fertilizers on their plants to make them grow faster. But what it eventually does is it creates a toxic effect on the plant which burns out the leaves and turns them yellow. Then the fifth reason is the transplant shock. This is also a reason for leaf yellowing and falling. This is the period of stress to the plant when you are repotting a plant. You can solve this to a certain extent by repotting carefully and then watering the repotted plant with Epsom salt solution to counter this transplant shock. Like uh, every alternate day you can water this for about 1 to 2 weeks. Then the sixth reason is root bound plants are also prone to leaf yellowing and also stunted growth of the plant. Just repot the plant in a larger container and also do some root pruning if you wish to use the same container. Then the seventh reason is the pest attacks. This can also lead to yellowing of the leaves which the pests can suck and damage the leaves and pests like aphids, mealybugs, white flies and thrips can be easily controlled organically. You can watch my video on the 5 ways to control these bugs from a card link at the top right corner of this video after you finish the video. Then the 8th reason is high soil pH that is too alkaline soil which can also be the cause for leaves turning yellow. This is little difficult to diagnose unless you have a soil pH testing gadget. Then the ninth reason is natural aging of the plant is also another reason for the leaves turning yellow. Then the tenth reason is nutritional deficiencies with poor potting soil or the potting mix. Commonly due to lack of nitrogen and also certain mineral deficiencies like iron, manganese and zinc. And one more condition called leaf chlorosis caused by nutritional deficiencies which interfere with photosynthesis can lead to yellowing in initial stages. But this is a deadly condition which can affect a branch or the entire plant may eventually die. 
Sometimes it is a complex process with multiple reasons and difficult to treat the problem of leaf alloying and many of the, uh, these reasons are interlinked with one another. For example, iron deficiency or the iron chlorosis may be due to high soil pH resulting in poor absorption of iron that is poor uptake of iron by the plants mm -hmm. and things like that. So there we have it folks. Those were the top 10 reasons and tips on the problem of leaf alloying in plants. If you like the tips, please give a thumbs up to the video and also if you have some more tips, please share them in the comment section below the video, including your suggestions. Your comments and likes are really important. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. See you soon again and happy gardening.